Kemal Vural Tarlan. Kemal Vural Tarlan, coordinator of Kirkyak, Kirkyak Kultur in Gaziantep, yes. Turkey. He has been working for years with the Dom community and the Dom refugees from the war in Syria. Recently, the area where he lives and works was shattered by a devastating earthquake. Um, Kemal, yes. you brought us a presentation. Yes, thank you. I think. Huh. Yes, I know it is late and you are uh, tired, but uh, I want to talk about uh, invisible co community and forgotten community. Uh, uh, yes. Like this platform, many times I attend uh, 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 meeting and conference, but uh, all of Roma organization talking talk about uh, Roma community. Uh, I think it is a, a, a discrimination that uh, another discrimination because of Roma community, Roma organization, no times talk about uh, Middle East Roma. Uh, 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 Dom community. You, I don't know. You are know or not in the Middle East about five millions Roma living now. Yes, uh, I start my presentation. Uh, uh, yes, they are uh, uh, Syrian migrants. You know, after the Syrian inside war, uh, about five million Syrian citizens ship uh, across the border and uh, go to the other country. Uh, I think uh, about 100,000 Roma across the border and uh, go to the neighborhoods, uh, Syria countries. Uh, their situation is... Uh, very bad. They are living. Yes, uh, firstly, uh, I want to talk about uh, Dom society in the Middle East. Uh, you know, uh, the Roma communities, Dom, Lom, Abdal, uh, and Rome, they have lived together with the other people in the uh, Middle East geography. Uh, they are peripatetic community. They produce tools for the other community, like Arab Kurds and uh, Iranian and the other uh, nomad communities. Uh, if you go to the uh, Middle East country, you can uh, meet with like this tent place, uh, uh, Dom peoples. Uh, they are semi nomads. Uh, they produce uh, uh, baskets. Uh, white smiths, some of groups, they are musicians, but they are now semi-nomads. Yes, uh, you, you know, for uh, Roma uh, community, uh, 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 iron and iron maker is very important. Now, if you are going to do Jordan, Lebanon, and the other country, you can meet with uh, some groups. They are, uh, uh, their skill is uh, irons, and they made uh, some tools for uh, body steel. Uh, about five million uh, Dom uh, now uh, uh, living in. Uh, uh, Turkey, Saudi Arabia, Kuwait, Jordan, Lebanon, and the other Middle East countries. The main part is uh, living in uh, uh, Egypt. Uh, about uh, 2.5 million Dom now living in the Egypt. Uh, in the Middle East, the Middle East peoples or Middle East the other ethnicity called these peoples like a generic names, like a gypsies, they say uh, they called Navar, the now meaning of Navar is gypsies, but uh, uh, Zot, Gajar, G 
Gajar mainly uh, they are uh, musicians group, Bareke, uh, Beni Murra, Kaderi and Karechi Ashiret. It is the name of uh, Middle East uh, Dom community and also Abdal communities. Yes, in Syria before the war, uh, some researchers uh, uh, say uh, about 200,000 uh, Dom and Abdal uh, uh, live in the, uh, Syria. Uh, after the Syrian inside for or uh, Syrian uprising, uh, about 100 uh, thousands uh, dom across the border go to the Turkey, Jordan, Lebanon, and uh, Iraq. And uh, uh, in Turkey, uh, you know, uh, I don't know, uh, dom community, they are living, originally they are living with Kurdish community. When you talk in uh, Turkey with the Roma organization, they say, they are Kurdish gypsies and discriminated, like the Lom community. Because of Lom community, the other community, they are living with uh, Armenian. And uh, the Roma and the Turkish people say they are Erman Armenian gypsies. And they discriminated. In Turkey, uh, about uh, 500,000 uh, uh, Dom living in the Turkey. and. Uh, for uh, European Council, they estimated the number uh, of total Roma in Turkey about five million. I think it is true. Mm -hmm. How also, did you? How do you count them? The population of uh, Dom Roma. The, how do you know about this? Um, number? Yeah, in Turkey, you cannot uh, count uh, ethnicity and national, you cannot take the uh, information about the ethnicity. But we, we know uh, some research, make, uh, do research in, uh, yeah, for example, I, uh, about 25 years I am working for this, I have been working for these groups. I know the Kurdistan place, uh, how many neighborhoods and how many people living in these neighborhoods. It is, it is not, it, it is about the number. So you count by neighborships, yes. by uh, towns, by villages? Yes. Mm -hmm. uh, in Lebanon, uh, also Dom community living in the Lebanon, uh, Lebanon mainly Beirut, uh, Bekawali, they are mainly working in uh, uh, agricultural places. In Jordan, also uh, many uh, community living in Jordan. After uh, uh, Jordan has previously received intense dome migration uh, flux uh, after the Arab-Israel war. If you are going to the Middle East country, you can meet with many uh, Palestinian dome. Uh, they are now uh, separated in the all of uh, Middle East country. After the Syrian inside war, for example, uh, in Gaziantep, in my city, we have uh, uh, many uh, Palestinian dome also. Yeah, uh, <coughs> you know, uh, Syrian inside war is a the uh, very hard times for Syrian citizenship and uh, uh, some minority, mainly Christians and Kurdish and uh, Dom community. They are, uh, uh, during the war, they are, uh, uh, <coughs> sorry, uh, in Gorot and- uh, You can use the microphone, ah, then it's, uh, They are in Gorot and they uh, have a big problem because of the two parts. The one part, the government and state, the Syrian government says, uh, let's go to the other country, we don't want you. Uh, and uh, after the war, uh, jihadist and Islamic party says, 
they are not in a, um, um, enough Muslims, like uh, Iraq, uh, and they kill many uh, dom and they take their house. Yes, sorry. Mm -hmm. Uh, yeah, I say that uh, about uh, 100,000 Syrian dom uh, separate Turkey, Jordan, Lebanon, and Iraq, uh, and uh, many families across the border now they are living in Germany and the other country. We we have a network. Uh, they are living in this European country also. Uh, yes. This photo, I am photographer for, for this community. The photo is very important because of um, uh, nobody knows this community. They are invisible. Uh, we use, our organization use photos of the community for that, for visibility. <laughs> yes, the main problem of our community in Lebanon, Jordan, and Turkey is the, the source of problem is a discrimination. Yes, for example, now, if you go to the Turkey, uh, dom children, our children, cannot access the school education systems. Yes, you can register it. We, we have an education program. We registered uh, our children to school, but by the manager and the, by the teacher, our teacher, our ch uh, children push to outside the schools. Yes, by, by violence also, for, for the other uh, Kurds and Turkish. Okay, I have another question. You did mention that there are not enough Muslims for others. Do they believe? Do they, are they practicing Muslim, Muslim religion? Uh, yes, they, they, are, uh, they are Muslims. The one part is uh, Sunni Muslims, uh, but uh, the other subgroups is uh, Abdal. They are Alawite. Mm -hmm. They are Alawite and Islamic uh, organization know our community and they say they are Alawite, they don't believe God and they, uh, they don't want these people. Uh, yeah, uh, I say that the main, the source of uh, problem of the community, we, are, we have a many, we prepare many reports about that. The, the main source of uh, the problem of community is a discrimination. It is uh, anti-Gypsism and racism is very strong in the Middle East country and Turkey. They discriminated. They, if you go to the Middle East country, you can see uh, our settle, uh, uh, our neighborhood. They cannot access. The government uh, don't make for our community in all of country. Yes, for dom refugee, uh, the problem employment, education, accommodation, health, uh, and the last years. Huh, yes. Sorry. I, I could bring you the mic. Yeah, the election of Turkey, I mean, yes. Yeah, how did they vote? Like, what, what is their preference? Yes, for, for migrants, they cannot use uh, vote, but in Turkey, it is different. It is, it is uh, interesting. Roma organization, mainly Roma organization support AKP. Yeah, support Erdogan party. Yeah. Uh, the last election, <laughs> uh, I think it is safe. Mm -hmm. uh, maybe we open now for a question. Is it okay for you? Yeah? Do you have Roma and Doma yes. in Turkey? Uh, wait, uh, just, I have to hear the mic one second. Sorry. Sorry. I'll bring you the mic. Meshayi Tursko te pushavle, Jano Turski. Bravo, Jano Turski. Yeah, Merhaba. Ben Hamitim. Benim sorum olacak şey Alevitler. Onlar hep mi dom yoksa sadece bir sekte midir? Biz, kannst du das auch auf Deutsch übersetzen oder auf Englisch? <gülüyor> <gülüyor> Alevi dediniz ya. Yes. 
e, Alevikler hepsi dom mu yoksa sadece bir sekte midir? The uh, as sub group we are uh, they are mixed in the oh, just in, one in, second we have uh, just to know the, okay. the question because okay. nobody understood uh, Abdal no, community no, as the uh, name of uh, sub group is the Abdal Abdal community is Alevite What is the what was the question could you maybe translate I don't speak Turkey I'm sorry Turkey. Alevite is sect of uh, Islam. Mm -hmm. uh, the question was uh, which kind of Alevite what are they to whom they belong? Is is it a question? Yeah. We have a second question. Is it for Canon again? Because I mean we open now the whole discussion. Everyone could ask. I think few questions is if it's okay. I think. Yeah. Because I just want to ask if uh, you have both communities in Turkey, either Roma or Domari. Because when I watch YouTube videos, then I see Romanesi dance or something like this. Which mean like Roma, yeah, because I think in Turkish you say Romanesi Rom I think I think so that's what I was like uh, that's how I understood it so maybe you can say if I'm right or, or wrong <laughs> thank you yeah in Turkey there are three groups R Roma groups or gypsy groups living in the Turkey Dom Rom and Lom and also some subgroups like Egyptians and Abdal and uh, uh, Albania, but they are very uh, small groups. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so one more. Is it also because Tur Turkey is like very big country, right? So it's it's because uh, I, I don't know. In the western part is more like Roma, and the eastern yes. Lom and and Dom. The north like north part is Lom. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. Thank you. Yes. Okay, thank you. Uh, my English is not very uh, good, but I try to speak a little. Uh, I want to know, uh, because I met before one uh, intellectual uh, from Turkey. Uh, he was a member of Parliament of Turkey. Yes. And he came in Kosovo in the conference, and we, uh, our uh, intellectual Rome and NGO asking him, do you have good cooperation with institution of Turkey? And do you have some documents, some strategy and plan and program about development of Roma, Dom or Lom uh, community in Turkey? Because we know you told five million Roma you have in Turkey, but from him uh, we uh, notice uh, have six million. Mm -hmm. And how is uh, cooperation, how is going on uh, integration of uh, Roma because many people it is important intellectual uh, Roma in Turkey and group uh, NGOs to work hard with institution to, to do some good things because Erdogan promised Roma Roma we give uh, budget we give uh, everything is can you uh, give little information thank you <coughs> okay uh... In Turkey, we have a strategy paper, Roma strategy paper, like the other uh, uh, European country, but it is on a uh, uh, paper only. They don't make anything. Yeah, I am member of commission of this uh, uh, strategy commissions, uh, Roma strategy commissions, but yeah, before the election, they are call us uh, for meeting about. Uh, the Roma issues, and uh, we know that after the election, all things will stop, and uh, next election, they can remember that. Kenan, <laughs> <laughs> um, maybe you could finish uh, your presentation, or are you finished? Yeah, it is okay. Mm -hmm. uh, you could finish it if you yes. want, just... Uh, yeah. for a few minutes, mm -hmm. and after, I would suggest to have Maybe some more questions, also to the ladies here on the stage, just to to go further with your presentation, also that you could finish. Yeah. yeah. 
if you want, you know, uh, in Turkey there was a, a, a earthquake. Uh, the earthquake place is, uh, yeah, sorry. <laughs> yes, uh, yeah, in uh, 6th of February, uh, uh, you know about earthquake. This place is about uh, uh, 11 cities is uh, uh, the earthquake affected these places. Uh, all of these cities and uh, these cities district uh, uh, have a one or two uh, Roma neighborhoods. In these 11 cities, uh, about uh, 300,000 Roma, Dom, uh, Rome and uh, uh, Avdal living in these cities. I think uh, about uh, 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 20, uh, 25 uh, thousand uh, Roma uh, now they are living in the tents because of the earthquake uh, destroyed their house. Uh, before the earthquake, you can see photos. It is uh, a Roma house. The uh, the housing is not a good. Uh, uh, the, their uh, housing is very poor conditions. And also in these uh, cities is uh, Syrian and uh, a Syrian dome living in these cities also because of my cities, Gaziantep is close to Syrian border. And uh, earthquake affect these parts. Uh, yeah, uh, after the earthquakes, uh, we can see the discrimination because of if you are going to the, these places, uh, the first the government uh, separated uh, Dome and Roma uh, tent place. If you are going to the, these cities, the government uh, you can uh, they, uh, the government says if you want uh, met with uh, Roma, please go to the gypsy uh, tent place. Yes, uh, many uh, family they are living in tents in, uh, close to their house uh, because of their house is damaged and uh, yeah, like this for example it is uh, our family's uh, houses uh, in Gaziantep. From your family? The, the, it is uh, uh, not my family but uh, we have an education uh, program uh, our one student house, this house. Yeah, thank you. Mm -hmm. Thank you very much, Kemal. Um, maybe just one question also to the end that um, I have also just, uh, but maybe I could also put it on the last, and I will bring it to the audience yet. Yes, please. Uh, I have, uh, hello, everyone. I'm Dipali. I'm from India. And I have two questions. Uh, sorry, I don't remember the names uh, of the ladies. Uh, but the, my first question is about, uh, you, you talked about sterilization of women in Czech Republic uh, uh, and, and, and they, like you said that doctors and government, everyone was involved uh, while they're doing it and I wanted to know what is the current situation of uh, women uh, in Czech Re Re Republic now, like do they have <laughs> equal rights in everything and, 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 and uh, what, what is the, uh, uh, their situation? And my second question is uh, to the other lady. Uh, uh, you Maybe said we can have just one question for you and she could answer and okay, then after okay. yeah, you yeah. could put yeah. another one. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Sir? Yes. I'm from the same organization as yeah. this, and I was working at that time in Czech Republic as a, as a journalist, so maybe I don't know much more. Maybe we'll let them speak right. and after you could also tell her. Thank you. Yes, please. 
Okay, I will answer your question. Uh, situation yeah, in Czech Republic and Slovakia, I will speak about Slovakia as well. It's like uh, this cases and everything was happened there, it has stopped. But it, it's definitely had impact on women's uh, mental health. Because when they stop you to have a children, how, how, you, how, you, how will you feel? It's very, very important. They made them, like their mental health was affected by this. That's why they offered compensation, not only for not having children anymore, but for this. They affected their mental health. And I'm not sure if any woman uh, had like, uh, she wished to have more children because it's traditional, we are Roma, you know, and it was traditional before. If, they, if she would like to have more children and they stopped her, that's mean compensation of money, that's not enough because her mental health was affected. But everything was, what's happened there, it's not happening anymore. Health in Czech Republic and Slovakia, it's not that bad and they're not doing this without permission anymore. It's not happening there. Yeah. yeah, thank you, thank you. We uh, have one colleague here. He has also something just to say to this uh, question, maybe if it's, if it's okay, yeah? Yeah, yeah. <coughs> so at the time I lived in Czech Republic and I was uh, from the city when, you know, there, uh, there was the women who were meeting each other yes. and they were, they were gathering and fighting for their rights, uh, for their right about sterilization. It was very hard because they, you know, same as Indian women, it's very hard to speak about sex and their production. So we have an organization which is called Zaimana uh, Sovjiti Life Together, which uh, the director is from India, is a Kumar Vishwanathan, who married in Czech Republic. And he supports this woman. And all, all of them, they work very hard to achieve that the uh, Czech government apologized and make a law that this will never happen again. But to get compensation is not that easy because you have to prove it and you have to have documents which have uh, been probably somehow dismissed, deleted, I don't know. So it's very hard to get uh, compensation, even now, even now it's very hard. Uh, it's a bit easier, they made, made it a bit easier, but it was constant hard work of women. With, it started with the two free women, and I saw them growing because I was working this time for Romea, which is like a news, Roma news in Czech Republic, and they, they, they achieve it. So, and it wasn't just a Roma woman, let's, let, let's say that. There was few also white women that happened to them. And I think the last, uh, last that happened was like uh, around 2003 or 2005. That was when, when, when they found out that that was the last, uh, see, yeah, last moment when, when they happened. Yeah. So can I have a, yeah. a follow-up question to that? Yeah. yeah. And, and the main character, I think, was Elena Gor Gorolova, which, which is the main, uh, it was the first woman, with, uh, and she was kind of like leader of the group. She was not afraid to stand up, and she was like uh, attacked by, by uh, media, and the, the media, you know, in the beginning, there was like writing articles, oh, just gypsies, women, they want money. That's, that's what, what it's all about. What was the rationale for them? Could you just um, please? So, what was the rationale for the sterilization? So, in the government's mind, they must have had an idea. Is it for the panel mind. here? For, ev yeah. for, for anybody that can answer the question. Yeah, because if it's here. I, I think so it's, it's hard probably to, to answer because it was also in the transition when our country was co uh, in a communist si communism system, transitioning to democratic system. Yeah. Does, anybody on the panel? Yeah. But, but Does anybody on the panel have also one yeah, answer for this? And we have the last question yeah. here. Yeah. Uh, see, uh, the, the, the other uh, panelists uh, uh, talked about different layers of discrimination. Like even if you move from Czech Republic your, uh, or your Yugoslavia to UK, you face different uh, types of discrimination. But you also said that how education empowered 
uh, people uh, over there and on the other hand you also said that uh, still people in Roma people in UK don't don't want to identify themselves as Roma so so I, I see that there is a when we are at the World Roma Congress and we are also talking about uniting everybody together uh, like people from different countries we are also wanted to fight for our identity but on the other hand we see this type of contradiction uh, that uh, you get empowered but you need to hide your identity like how do you see that thank you thank you yeah uh it's really good question. I think I would say uh, it's really important to at first identify as a Roma and then we can continue with everything else. But uh, to enable uh, all people identify as a Roma, we have to make sure that they feel safe. And uh, I think we need to, um, we are working on it actually, yeah. Uh, we try to promoting uh, everything what we can uh, to uh, help them to feel safe, even is, if it's in UK. I don't say that somebody will kill us there, yeah. Uh, it's a discrimination in UK. No. It's not uh, like a huge one that I have to be frightened, but uh, it's mostly, I would say, like, uh, I had one client, yeah, and uh, from a uh, hospital they rang me, oh, you know, Katerina, those clients, oh, she came really nice and clean. And I was like, what did you say? And it was doctor from NHS, yeah, hospital. I was like, you didn't mean that what you said, yeah? I was really shocked. I did not have any answer for that. I was like, wow. I never met with something like this in UK. I thought, oh, I'm living in England and you know, pink glasses and everything is really beautiful. <laughs> but yeah, when, uh, when you work with people actually, yeah, then uh, you found out, but yeah, he really meant that, uh, he said that because he mostly, I know, uh, as our Roma people, it doesn't mean uh, when they came from east of Slovakia, yeah, they came from huge poverty, even, uh, I know in 2016, we still have uh, people in East of Slovakia who lived in a forest without electricity, clean water, and you know, it's, uh, it's hard, it's very hard, but, uh, and uh, unfortunately, those habits, even when they came to UK, they got much more chances to live better. At first, we need to work uh, with with them, like, uh, okay, you live here, you have to integrate a bit. I did not say assimilate, yeah, take your culture with you, but uh, you have to know the law and everything here. And yeah, this is our part, uh, our, all of professional who is working in UK, yeah, and actually everywhere, uh, like uh, working with our people, and help them integrate and then it will be much better. This is what I said. And our part as well is make sure our politician, our laws, everything is in place and uh, they are really, uh, make sure that they are safe. That's it, I think. I just would like Thank to you. ask you a question, yeah? I've never been in Berlin before. But I would like to know, in England, I have a problem. You said about identifying uh, Roma, yeah? Uh, do you have a chance in Germany, in any questionnaire, doctor's questionnaire, jobs, you know, offer anywhere, identify yourself in questionnaire being Roma, for being Roma? Because in England, we have to, uh, we have to take order and write Roma. Because we are not gypsy travelers or Irish, we are Roma. You know, gypsy travelers, it means English, English Roma people. But do you have a chance in Germany to identify yourself as a Roma? Or anywhere else in the world, I mean? No? Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Where we need to go to give, give them, you know, to our voice needs to be heard. We need to identify. That's where we start with network and with everything. Because when we're not going to identify ourselves as a Roma, who knows about us? 
We have no country. Who knows about that we, we just exist, you know? Who knows about our culture? Exactly. Yeah? You know? There is a lot to work. I have just a short information for you all. Uh, in, um, at 9 o'clock, the bus will come to pick you up to the hostel. So, um, and after I just want to say you that there is exhibition in um, Kaidikas, in Aufbauhaus, and there is also a party. We're uh, like nine, about 9 o'clock. So you are all invited to come to Damien Lubin, his exhibition in uh, Kaidikas. And uh, I mean, this is an information just in between to know because in 20 minutes, I think we have to go out of this room. Uh, maybe just one more question and then we have to close this. Okay, there are just a lot, but I will give it here. Thank you very much. Super diverse. I'm a poker after my guys here. I'm a master Michael Mizgar Palocek here. I'm a master of the I would like to ask you on the ladies from the UK. Uh, you were telling about the segregation and the education. What do you consider already now uh, like the success among my children coming from Czech Republic and Slovakia in England? On the lady from Poland, I would like to ask you, is there in Poland anybody, Chitumende uh, Sivariko under Polska, Kokerel a documentatia, the Qatar a discriminatia, Romangri, so the nation under Ukraine? And on Mr. Uh, I would like to ask you, because I had opportunity to be in Jerusalem, and I met also the Mari community in Jerusalem, whether there is any uh, some collaboration or contact in frame of the Near East between the Domari community in Israel and, and in the other countries. I thank you. Thank you. Isabella Mangeta Pene? Uh, can I just ask you, repeat the question for me, please? I know it was about education, but can you repeat it? What, how can I help children to get... Uh, what already now you see as a success? What, what you already or, now what see as a success? What already now I see as a su success? Yes. yes. Yeah? Uh, I see our children are very intellectual educated and in England they've got better chance to study because they've got the support, right support. They're not putting them in a special school like in Czech and Slovakia and they did put them in Czech in special schools since they were six. They didn't let them to have a chance, but in England they work with people, they work, work uh, with children, they, have, uh, they can identify special education needs, they can identify any mental illness. You know, it's better, it's good, it works because they are not judged be uh, for being Roma. Every children in the UK have the same ch chance for education. It depends on parents if they want to give that chance to children or not. They can change future for them if they want to. Yeah, and the other was uh, the other question was about the documentary or who is uh, doing, uh, doing the doc? Who is making the documentation of discrimination around my face? In in Poland, who is doc, uh, doing the documentary in uh, about the discrimination in Poland? Kiedy <laughs> Savoro so campo socialo en geta kereu, hin roma so na janen te citine u te pisine u ta wenza campo savoro furt te kereu, na? Okay. Yeah, uh, our organization, Kirkaya Culture, is not a uh, Roma or Dom uh, association. We are human right basis association and we have a program, Dom research program. Uh, we have many connections in the European country. If 
some family mainly about the migration problem, they can uh, access us and uh, we uh, work for their problem. But we are not a, a DOM association. Yes. Thank you very much. Sorry that we could not answer all questions, but you have the opportunity now in the bus together also to talk and to have the discussions. And tomorrow we will see us again at 10 o'clock at Allianz Forum. You will not be picked up.